Hello and welcome to episode 24th of this Let's Play series. We are playing the Ex-Human Authority, a standard empire in this and worse universe. In the last episode, we were working to clean out the pirate in this cluster that we just conquered. And uh, we also invade over and taken over a pirate planet over here. And we cleanse them out as well. Now the... Um, there's still a pirate base over here, and as you can see, there are all these uh, ye dark yellow uh, triangle are pirate military ships. So we need to take care of these as well. Now, since they are just staying around here, that leads me to, to believe that they don't actually have a base. Um, They don't actually have a um, a star base for them to go back to. So if we can find their construction ship or ships plural, then we will be able to eradicate that. Uh, and here are their construction ship. Now, one thing I was looking at is um, I realized that our ships do not have the ability to uh, stop the other ship from hyper jump out of the system so we really won't be able to effectively chase these these ships unless uh, we can hit them with overwhelming force so we have a six fleet over here that's coming down to the system I We'll just have to change my mind and tell it to attack the mocking destiny. We've finished building a star base, Let's upgrade the latest version, but more importantly, we were taking over this um, pirate faction. Uh, planet and we have a ton of troops on it and somebody already um, tried to build a um, or not just try to build build another um, base here already so let's go ahead and take care of that and then we'll go and build our after that we'll build a um, planetary show shield and this planet is also really good. Wow! It's a 94% quality, 31 uh, point something size. Okay, and we eradicated uh, the pirate. That's the pirate base anyway, there. So go ahead and build a shield to prevent them from raiding. And one thing I do want to do is go to these uh, planet and make sure we don't have a pirate base. Um, it was easy to see before when we don't have any facility on, for example, here. So attack that. We have five troops. That should be sufficient to attack a pirate base. Right, barely actually. Um, that's only double the amount of the, the troops they have. And well, there's one here too. And as we go up uh, further be less and less likely that we find um, pirate bases so this is a home planet let's build the troop cloning facility here so we can actually crank out uh, 
clone clone troops because our default troops um, is pretty weak so we just finished building the spaceport here and since this is actually a good planet so go ahead and retrofit it to a medium spaceport immediately and we're shooting at something out of the smuggling ship So our second uh, fleet, let's go ahead and pick up all the troops. First fleet is refuel. Let's automate it. Let's tell to go home. And then automate it again. The eighth fleet is a little slightly damaged because we came in here and um, attack. Well, actually, we um, managed to capture that gas mining station, which is great. So eighth fleet, let's go repair and automate it. Okay, we complete the troop cloning facility, so if we go to our home planet, we will be able to build clone troopers. And these clone troopers would be significantly better than uh, the, the ship, uh, the troop we can build here. We found a rune that has been explored by someone else. And we destroying some base and get some money. Now, let's see if we um, uh, approve this. But let's also look at our tech tree. So when this is done, uh, I will retrofit. I will just retrofit the. Um, um, all the all the custom designs and then we'll go from there interesting we also have advanced shield some clone troopers. It's always remind me of the movie Soldiers. Not sure why. Okay, so our 10th fleet is still in the middle of all this stuff. It's actually going back to retrofit. Instead of refueling, it's going back to retrofit. That's fine. Our base here is fully operational, which is good. So we should be able to take care. Look at this massive set of fleets here, uh, ships here. They have a lot of ships in that system. So when we blew that spaceport, it took us a couple try to do it. But when we blew it up, it took us a long time to go through and clean up all those ships, well, all the ships in the system anyway. So six fleet. It's going back to retrofit here. I wonder if it has managed to destroy um, the ships. It does not. Okay. That is fine.
Well, there's still the Pirates ND system. So, Seven Fleet is actually automated and just hanging around here, which is good. Okay. Let's take a look at our colony again to make sure we don't have any more hidden pirate bases. We're still attacking these guys. So we should be able to do pretty well. We have pretty much tripled our strength now. Here as well. And hopefully, with the planetary shields in place, they will not be able to raid us, and so they won't be able to build too much. So we just um, colonize this planet, let's build a facility, construction yard, let's build a small space fort. And troops, let's recruit. Five D's. And a planetary defense. Let's also go and garrison them. Zoom to the planet. Let's see where we are. Well, way over here. Oh, that's right. I, I remember that. So we're in the middle of nowhere. There's no nothing protecting this planet. Cure mining um, bases here. There's a little moon here. We'll worry about that later. Now let's take a look at our characters again. We still just have the three counterintelligent agents, three governors, we have two ambassadors. We have a ton of research station. Oh, not researching scientists. This one that's good with weapon research and high tech. This one is good at energy and weapon. This one is good at weapons and high tech. Well, not high tech so much. This one is good at um, weapon, so help this guy along with her uh, inspiring present trait. And though she's a foreign spy. Two troop general at these places. Let's transfer them to one here. Because that's where we're attacking the um, uh, pirates. And let's transfer the other one to. I forgot which planet it was. I don't remember. transfer them both down here. Now, one thing I was planning to do in the last episode is to go through 
and find more castlon and hydrogen uh, sources. So this is in our home system, so we should definitely colonize it. This one is there. Let's queue the nearest one. This one is there as well. There's a lot of sources in this cluster here. That's in our system. So let's make sure that we control them all. It's interesting. Um, it was saying cannot build here, but then allow me to to queue something up. Or maybe because I uh, I click the button. That's why I decided that. Okay. That make it a little bit more sense. We do have some twenty thousand, uh, not twenty thousand, twenty odd construction ships, so we should be able to um, take care of uh, building these quickly. That's way out there. That is not. It's also way out there. That's near our influences, so let's queue that up. That's also way out, but let's queue one up as well because we want to be able to see a little bit around there. Oh, there's pirate uh, activity, so I'm not going to go there until I can send a fleet over there to deal with the, uh, the pirate. Of course, the information about pirates might be um, fairly old, so there might be pirates um, in, in the, the places I send them to anyway. This construction ship will be very busy. Okay, so that's all the castlon we know that has not been mined by somebody. Let's do the same to the hydrogen. That's in our system. in our system, that's in our system. Let's not worry about the ones in our system quite yet. That's not, so let's queue that up. Again, the idea here is we want to basically monopolize all the fuel source in the galaxy. And if we can do that, then it's game over for the, the pirates because they can't possibly um, function without a uh, uh, few. And they won't have any place to, to build their bases either. our uh, private sector pre-penny but our private sector is really strong right now 
and with a monopoly monopoly on um, on, on few of oh, just make them even stronger because anyone else would have to go and buy a few from them so that's all of the sources in the galaxy that we know of except for these um, system here that has pirates or monster or something like that and we'll need to send our military ships over there to take care of them so first fleet is moving home and it will retrofit second fleet is retrofitting at the uh, planet here so that's fine But it has not finished picking up um, troops here either, so we need to make sure we do that. So let's look at this. Show me 64%. Sure. And we'll call our diode 3. happy why are they not happy just been colonized construction yard let's build a small spaceport let's build a planetary shield let's go to the U3 we have fleet patrolling, we have resources in the system the ninth fleet is still here uh, finished retrofitting um, also so this is under attack by a cruiser but not anymore and we also colonize secure 3 and we have a night fleet here is there some pirate bases around here that we need to uh, look at? There's a pirate base up there. There is a pirate planet here. Interesting. So I might have to go and invade that as well. As long as as soon as the second fleet is uh, finished. We, we can't just have pirates have planets and things. That's just that's just not right. Let's wait on that. Let's go to secure three first and do the same thing we did. Build a planetary shield, a small space fort, and recruit five troop and a planetary defense unit. Let's go and garrison those troops. And our clone bat uh, battalions are. A 52 attack strength, which is pretty good. Exploration ship. This one that does not have any missions. So let's go and explore whatever this um, 
thing is Second fleet is retrofitting still. First fleet has finished retrofitting. Our plan is, is under attack still. These guys want us to remove military system from this, but of course this is a contested system. is ours, and we have minings and everything. So they should remove uh, ships from that system in, instead. Now these guys are not very strong because we invade and took over the home world um, so they they got set back quite a bit so the home world is an Ogna system Isis this system here Isis is the planet hard to tell which one is which is this one here? It is this one here. And the home world has a billion people. Um, no, they don't have any kind of bases or anything like that on there. I do have a fleet coming back, so they, they're probably doing okay. Because there's these ships here of this um, faction that we took the uh, colony from. And they did really well. They have 12 military ships, um, but they, we don't know where their bases are. We have this whole region canvas in um, scanners, so we should know if we um, we should know uh, any pirate base in this area. There's a castle on base here that we're queuing something to come over to look at. So I would like to take my 8th fleet, maybe the 7th fleet. Let's take the 7th fleet to come over here just to take a look. There's a pirate um, mining station here. And here's our construction ship. We'll follow it as well. And fortunately, we have a also quick in one of our colonies. Not much we can do about that. The planet will take care of itself after a while. So if we follow this ship in, we'll be able to see if there's pirate bases here or not. Apparently there is no uh, basis here. I 
Oh, there's a pirate ships though. Ah, here's the mining base. So our seventh fleet is coming this way. Tell to go ahead and attack this. So this one is escaping. Maybe it is escaping. Actually, no, it, it skipped because it, there's already a mining station there, so it will skip um, that task and uh, go do the next one. So, in the meantime, we'll go ahead and take care of this base here if we can. That ship doesn't seem like it has few because it's not fighting back. Okay, we managed to um, destroy that base and get some money. The seven fleet. Here should return to base and automate. So this castle on here, but uh, this empire already have a mining station there. in the middle of everything there's a mining ship here we're building a base here and it's just start charging shields that's excellent Okay, and our second fleet should be almost done. This empire should expand a, expand a little bit. Fails in eradicating um, here. That was pretty sad. So I should send the troops there instead. Here's some that. And then let's go to our characters two troop generals I'll send this guy to blue Ruth three actually no let's send this guy there It'll be nice to send him to um, the second fleet actually. Let's do that. We'll transfer this guy to Blood Root 3.
can I transfer him again or do I need to wait? I might have to wait. That's okay. If I remember it, I'll transfer him when uh, once he gets here. Should be almost done. Why is this guy here? That's really strange. they going why are they moving to there that is truly strange they're not automated interesting This may be the, the next war. Let's just leave it be for now. Let's go back to this planet. So we have um, some troop general na now. Let's go ahead and transfer. This guy. To the second fleet. We'll build these things very quickly. again then let's see if the other one is actually able to eradicate um, the base is it this one it did not So we should be able to take care of this um, pirate basis now.
take a while for that to uh, to finish. So we've reached the 40 minutes mark. So let's uh, call an episode here. And we are still on the on the top as far as scoring is concerned. Um, our cash flows go back a little bit, but uh, that's just a tiny bit compared to our uh, bonus incomes and things. And our private sector is doing very very well, even though we have asked them to build a bunch more gas mining station. Um, but that's just a fraction of their uh, income. So they are doing very well there. Um, with that in mind, let's take a look at uh, the galaxy map one more time. And there's still three pirate bases. I didn't realize there's one up here. So we need to go take care of that. Um, and there's a pirate planet up here that I forgot about. So that's what I was um, going to use the second fleet for. And as soon as these guys finish, excellent finish uh, loading troops, loading very last infantry here. That's not cool. Is that a tank? That is a tank. Okay. Somebody did not load the glass. Um. Did not finish loading the very last um, uh, troop there. But we also finished researching long range missiles, so I would like to go ahead and auto upgrade all these guys. To the Mark 14. And once. Um, pop-up come up to retrofit, we'll go ahead and let them retrofit automatically. The cruiser, let's edit this and go ahead and add Hyper D9 onto the cruiser. So we're using very little energy still because we're using only guns uh, and missile, uh, rail guns and missile. The Hyde Buddy 9 would help us catching um, the, the various um, construction ships and things. wait for this to finish loading that very very last troop I'll send it up to attack the planet There's a ship somewhere that is not here. That's there. It has three troops. The 
this one has one and one, this one has three. I assume that the um that's fine. I assume that the lead ship has picked up an extra armor troop somewhere. That's fine. Um, we just need to send them to attack this pirate planet. I will assume that the Empire um, have taken care of the space. Uh, the spaceport above there, but just in case we move on nine feet just outside so we can jump in and help and with that in mind let's call it an episode thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode thank you bye bye